If you need Madden coins on any platform, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. For a limited time only, use code CLICKWID for 20% off your entire order. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today we have awesome stuff in packs. Guys, there's a brand new Bobby Wagner golden ticket in packs today. We've also still got access to the Lorenzo Neal and Mean Joe Green boss legend cards that are still in the game all day today. So that's pretty awesome. But also, there's a brand new Martellus Bennett that I wanted to take a quick look at. Um, I saw this thing because people had recommended it on uh, Twitter. I, I went on there this morning and people were saying that this card is ridiculous. So we've got Martellus Bennett, 99 overall. This card is absolutely crazy looking, guys. This is a movers card, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, take a look at some of these attributes that this thing has. 94 for strength, nice agility at an 89, solid 91 speed with 96 acceleration. Definitely going to be able to beat most uh, linebackers in man-to-man -man coverage and, and potentially even some cornerbacks in man-to-man -man coverage. 98 catching as well. Crazy, crazy stuff there. Another thing that I want to point out, 90 run block. Guys, there are many tight ends in this game that are going to have better than a 90 run block. Like, this card in a lot of ways is comparable to Boss Gronkowski. Seriously. Like, this card is nasty. I'm telling you. It's not as good as Boss Gronk. I'm not going to say that. But it's very, very comparable. And for the price difference, definitely good. So, take a look at some of these other things. It's got 97 jumping, 94 for trucking if you ever do that, 95 for stiff arm. I don't know how many opportunities you're going to have to do that with a tight end. But you never know. Um, some of the other stuff, guys. Spectacular catch 98 catching traffic 101 101 catching traffic for a tight end insane stuff uh, 89 route running and 97 release as well definitely one of the better cars that they've released for movers an amazing card we're gonna see if we can pull that today or a, either the golden ticket the boss legend something like that something that's a 99 would be amazing i still haven't pulled one this year so hopefully we can make it happen today guys unfortunately uh, i can't pull any of the game changer packs because i pulled too many of them yesterday apparently uh you can only pull three of them it looks like so won't be able to do that unless i actually put money into the game which is not really something that i'm interested in doing at this very moment but at the same time, guys, we've still got pro packs to open up. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this thing and, uh, you know, get things started with pulling pro packs. I don't know. We'll see if we can get anything good out of these. Pro packs tend to be, you know, something where you can get good price stuff still. So I don't know, man. I, I know a lot of people uh, have, have the idea that you don't pull stuff uh, unless you pay for it, unless you pull, like, the, the bundles. I haven't really experienced that. Even when I've pulled the bundles, I haven't pulled great stuff. So, I don't know, man. You guys let me know. What, what have you been... Like, if you've pulled any, like, golden tickets or anything as we get... Oh, man, that kind of scared me for a second there. For a second, I saw the Elite, and then I saw Fullback. And I thought it was going to be Lorenzo Neal. That would have been amazing. But we still got an Elite, at least. Um, but when you guys have been pulling your packs, if you pulled anything amazing? Uh, if you have, let me know. What did you guys pull it out of? Did you pull it out of a bundle? Did you pull it out of, like, one of, like, the... The packs that you pulled with coins, but like a promo pack, like a game changer or a, an ultimate legend pack or something like that. What did you open it with? Um, let me know in the comments section below because I'm interested to know. Or if you pulled it in a topper. I mean, I think a lot of people obviously have pulled stuff when we've had like guaranteed ultimate legends and things like that uh, in packs or just guaranteed standard legends, even. I don't know what's going on here. We got a weird error. All right, whatever. Seems to, seems to be messing up. Okay, there we go. Um, but, uh, what are you guys, what are you guys pulling it out of? I, I don't know. I haven't really experienced having, like, great pulls in anything as we get, oh my gosh, come on! Memorial Day badge, alright, that's fine. Hopefully we can get something else out of this pack, who knows. Nope, nothing really out of this one. So, uh, we'll throw this thing into the, into the bigger than football set. I think I've got, like, one more of these or something. I don't even know how many of those you need to put into the set. Probably a ridiculous amount. Seems like they've been doing this for pretty much, like, every single promo this year. It's been, like... You know, you've got like your um, whatever types of badge. So if it's Memorial Day, you've got Memorial Day badges or like, you know, the various different other holidays that they've had. Thanksgiving badges or whatever. Um, it, it, it all kind of seems like it's been just like almost like a recreation of itself. So I don't know. I, I haven't really experienced that there's been like too much different uh, types of sets or anything throughout the year, but you've been pretty much, oh, as we get a Jordan Cameron final edition, let me take a look at this card real quick, because I actually, I actually typically like Jordan Cameron, yeah, 93 speed with 92 Excel, that's actually pretty solid, 
Um, I might I might end up taking a look at this thing and maybe using it a little bit. We'll see. Might be a decent salary cap. Nah, he's 60 for a salary at tight end. That's a lot to spend. So probably not, but decent decent little final edition pull there. Probably not worth a whole lot. Um, but what I was saying, though, is like I just don't feel like they've really mixed it up too much with the promos this year. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And maybe maybe they have, and I just like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just uh, am a little bit like, I don't know, thrown off by it or, or just expect more. or I don't know. Am I being ridiculous for saying that they've not really done a whole lot new with, with packs this year? Or not, not with packs. With, uh, with sets this year and, and different promos. It just seems like it's been a regurgitation of the same thing for the most part over and over again. Steve Smith in that pack. We're getting close to the amount of items that I can have in packs, unfortunately. So we might have to do a little cut in the video here today, but I don't know. Hopefully we won't need to. We'll continue to rip packs, though, for at least a little while here. I don't know how many I want to do. It'll probably just be until I'm, like, sick of it, you know? Because I, I don't know, dude. I still haven't, like, pulled anything great. I wonder if anybody's going to make a Levine Toy Lolo golden ticket. Because he is six foot eight. I mean, can you imagine a six foot eight Levine Toy Lolo uh, golden ticket card? I don't know. That it sounds like it would be pretty beastly to me. Come on. Carlos Dunlop. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing out of most of these packs. And, uh, guys. I don't know if you guys have been paying much attention, but we're still doing like we're still trying to find people to do large quick sell wars against. So if you have anybody that you want to see me do one against, let me know in the comments section below. We'll try and set something up, and we get a Doriel Green Beckham Campus Hero. Okay, he's six foot five. He's a beast. Ninety three speed, ninety five excel. This is actually probably one of the better pulls that I've had recently. I don't think this thing's worth like a, a too much, but like he's got some decent attributes here. Take a look at some of these things here. 97 spec catch, 96 catch in traffic. Man, this is actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. 93 overall, too. I don't know, man. That's not a bad pull, though. I'll definitely take that. Could could be worse. Definitely could be worse. That's, that's a pretty nice campus hero card. I like it. I didn't even actually I didn't even know this card was in the game. So I'm definitely a fan of that one. Let's see if we can get anything else here. We're getting actually more, it's funny because I, I pulled three Game Changer bundles, or not bundles, three Game Changer packs yesterday, not one Elite out of any of those, but I've pulled like what, three Elites, or I don't know, with, with the Memorial Day badge, I guess that counts as an Elite, I don't know, uh, but I've pulled a couple of decent cards so far out of this pack opening video today, actually better than anything that I pulled yesterday, so not too bad, man, definitely not too bad, James Carpenter there. Dude, I really just want a freaking 99 pull for once. Come on, hook me up. EA, come on. Let's go, come on. Come on, come on, come on. And it's a Chris Long. Damn it, come on. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I feel like I've been pulling like a crap load of packs so far. I think we're I think we're over a hundred thousand or right around a hundred thousand in, in packs pulled, which I typically don't recommend just ripping packs all weekend, but you know, man, when there's this many good things in packs to pull, like the Martellus Bennett, the Golden Tickets, the Boss Legends, like I feel like Sunday is the pristine time to be pulling packs, to be honest with you, because you have so many 99 things that you can pull, but unfortunately, we just continue to miss and miss and miss and miss and miss. What days have you guys been pulling good stuff out? Like, are, are you doing it during the week or on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Friday? I don't know. I know that they put in, they start putting in golden tickets every, oh, as we get another Jordan Cameron. Um, what is that? Our fourth elite, I guess. But um, I know that they've been putting golden tickets on Thursdays. So, uh, but I typically don't pull on Thursdays because, I mean, unless it's like a really ridiculous golden ticket card, just because that's like the only thing that you can pull. There's no ultimate legends. Um, I guess sometimes there's like final editions, but like those aren't really worth a whole lot, typically anyway. So what days have you guys been pulling on though? Like, are you are you pulling them on the, the weekends and are you getting good stuff on the weekends? Am I just that freaking unlucky that I'm pulling thousands and thousands of packs and still never pulling any damn elites? Like, it's crazy. Still nothing out of these. Like, nothing big anyway. I don't think the Doriel Green Beckham's worth a whole lot, so. And I know a Jordan Cameron wouldn't be worth much, so. Come on. One time, hook me up as we get a draft badge there. We'll quick throw that into the little set and we'll continue on we get a Malcolm Floyd <clears throat> what do you guys think about the uh, the Martellus Bennett by the way 
you guys think that's like one of the better tight ends that they've been putting out lately? I mean, definitely to me, other than the boss Gronkowski. I wanna, I wonder if it's better than like the standard Ultimate Legend Gronkowski. I don't think he'd be better than the uh, than the Golden Ticket or the the boss Gronk, but maybe he's like on par at least with the uh, with the standard Ultimate Legend. I don't know. Could be. That that could be a pretty damn good tight end though. I mean, I definitely want to try him out at some point. That would be. I think it sounds like it'd be a pretty beast card. So, anyway, guys, we're going to have to quick go in here to the binder and uh, and take out some cards. So, I will quick do that, guys. I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, we're back, and we're going to pull five more packs. Hopefully, we can get something out of these final five. I, I mean, I don't know. It just hasn't been great luck lately, but let's go. Come on. Come on. And it's a Stephon Gilmore. Damn it. Come on. All right, I, I actually went in and I uh, put a whole bunch of gold players into like the little gold player set thing. So we've got some more large quick sales to do here in the next couple of days. Again, guys, let me know in the comments section below if you have a YouTuber that you want me to do one of those against a large quick sell war. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, go check those out on the channel because they're pretty fun, pretty entertaining, I think. And I think you guys will like them. And there's something that you guys can do yourselves as well. So uh, if you have a friend or anything like that, you guys can open up five, ten of them or whatever and just bet against one another. I think it's a fun way to do things in Ultimate Team. Just add some fun to the game, you know. And we'll do the NFL Draft Badge here. I've just been adding these every time. I know that they're worth like 1000 or something like that. But just add them to the set, I guess, because I don't even really want to deal with it, you know. So we've got, what, three more, I think, that we can open up here. Come on. Come on, one time with a damn... Ugh, God. I just haven't had the luck, man. Just haven't had the luck. We got two more packs. Come on, let's do it one time. Let's do it one time. Come on, Lorenzo Neal. I know you're in this pack. I know you're in this pack. I know you are. Ugh, no, Phil Lodold. All right, one more. The final one. Can we clutch it out? Can we clutch it out, guys? Let's go. One time. One time. Come on. And uh, it's not going to happen, is it? Alan Hearns, and that's about it. Damn it. All right. Well, that's another pack opening video with nothing really pulled, unfortunately, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, though. If you did, do me a favor. Drop a like on it. Be sure to give it the thumbs up. And, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks so much for the support. We'll have more videos for you guys later today and tomorrow as well. I uh, might be doing a live stream for Memorial Day as well, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.